Hello everybody, Sean the Godzilla here. Um, it's currently 3.15 a.m. as you can see, and today, since we're sh basically, our channel name is Sean the Godzilla, why not react to Cinema Sins shitting on everything wrong with Godzilla 2014? Now, this is the one that basically started this new looking Godzilla. Uh, Sorry. Uh, what? What is going on with me that I always have to burp or release some sort of gas in my videos? Help! Re Let's look through the uh, things of um, let's look through the, uh, comments and try to find mine. It's going forever to distract me with MCU, Quicksilver, and Scarlet, which are making out this movie. And this movie. Can we please have everything wrong with Godzilla, King of the Monsters, please? No, fuck you, you little bit. Sorry, I'm angry. For shattering for so who knew this video is longer than Godzilla's screen time. Cinema sense this movie will never be shown showed in flight. The first time I saw this movie was on an airplane. Who knew the size of the monster before it hatched? So they have known roughly how strong it would have been. But instead, they decided to use the tower cranes to contain it. No wonder it got away. Godzilla, too many humans. Go, come on, too many monsters. Skull Island. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Okay, where is mine? Godzilla, king of the monsters, please. No, you little bitch. I hope you die. <laughs> Literally. Holy shit, this channel is cringe. Yes, thank you. DP. Humans are monsters. Gajor is that embodiment. Sorry, but I have to sin you for not knowing the difference between floppy disk and a zip disk. Can you do Sharon Godzilla? Well, I didn't really care for Sin Godzilla. San Francisco, Bridge Abuse. Can you react to the new Godzilla? No! I do. I'm more like I don't know, damn it. I'm glad Godzilla took into account everything Jeremy wanted to know is Kiki. Okay, whatever. When will you do. No! Who even like that? They can just fly off into a bottomless pit. Okay, now a few days, Godzilla King of Monster comes out. Now, out. That one is not going to understand. If it does, then bullshit. True. That is true. No, there's not. You. <sighs> that was 1954 when the original one came out. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to look through. Hang on, guys. It's going to... Hang on, I'll actually pause it. So, guys, I finally found my um one. As you see, that says Sean the Gazelle. And I said, Cinema Sense. You are a piece of shit for shitting on people's favorite movies. Yeah. He is literally the worst person out there. Literally. Okay, but let's get into the video. They roll with Godzilla. I hate to start out on such a sophomore note, but that is a literal butt crack. Easy Darwin reference is easy. The fuck, man? 
already starting. What the fuck? That is not a butt crack. That is a piece of rock showing a monster on it. You fucking crackhead. See, movie thinks a Breaking Bad reference will buy it some early subcon- Okay, you get two be- What the fuck, you little piece of shit. I swear, this is some fucking grown 50 man- 50 year old man. No, not even that. Probably older. Being like, who? Oh, I'm going to shit on this movie because I think it's funny and it can make everyone fucking like me. Just goodwill. And you know what? Movie is right. I bought a ticket solely because Walter White was in this shit. And if you've seen this movie, you know why this is still a sin. It's a well known Hollywood rule that you can't make a Godzilla movie without putting some generic old timey war footage behind the. <sighs> this motherfucker. This motherfucker. This motherfucker and this motherfucker. Only this motherfucker can find out some way to shit on a movie, even though it's still f it's pretty good, and you shouldn't really be shitting on it anyways. So go suck ten dicks. I hope you die. Have a nice day. Go fuck yourself, you dumb bitch. Cinema sins. The opening credits. Discount InGen. Ken Watanabe is in this movie, but I'm not sure he's ever really into. What the fuck, man? Please, Cinema Sins, do my first suggestion and take part of death. Get a revolver, get some sort of handgun, get bullets, load up the gun, put it in your mouth, pull back the hammer, or just whatever it is. And then pull trigger. And bam. You'll see the other side. This movie. Character has a pocket watch that is super important to them, cliche. Hey, guy. You gotta see this. You gotta... <sighs> this motherfucker. Just how many times do I have to say this motherfucker? Only this motherfucker. Can make some of the bullshit up. Literally, I... I could literally be this guy and say that fucking the fucking every Stephen King movie was shit. Or like every single movie that's not Godzilla was shit. And people would be like jizzing all over the freaking thing. Pouring in more views than ever. Getting tons of likes. And be like Basically a fucking rich prick. See this cliche. Movie combines aliens and okay, Jurassic Park, okay. forces us to realize that this is like the 33rd Godzilla movie ever made, and, well, god damn it. This one looks broken. It's like something came out of it. It's probably- and, Well, god damn it, you should not be existing. I honestly hate you. The whole world probably hates you. Well, actually not, because people like your fucking videos, which makes no fucking sense. God damn it, you whole fucking useless- Bastard. I hope you get sold into si slavery. I hope PewDiePie enslaves you. And if he doesn't, well, fuck me and fuck everyone else. Honestly, I want to see Raven Queen tear into this fucking lowlife bum. It's just the wind. Oh, yeah. We are about to see some Godzilla. Oh, this room is an orgy of evidence that this kid plays with toys in a manner that will be aesthetically pleasing to a cinematic tracking shot. Movie lingers on a poster of primary villains as foreshadowing, but characters live in a world where creatures like this are documented fact. It's like a lingering shot of a poster depicting death and taxes. Respect and honor. With all of that, that's racist. All right. Oh, wow. Already 14. What the fuck? We're not even close into the movie either. We're not even... This is like... Basically, the beginning of the movie, and this guy's shitting on it for no fucking reason, and I'm not even joking.
And that's my man, Brian Cranston. He's the Sam Neill of this movie. He's going to guide us all the way through to the end because he's awesome. I sure hope the filmmakers don't pull the rug out from under me on this prediction. So when we get there, don't even bother coming up. Just grab a team and go down to level five. Death sentence. All right, let's make this quick. That is exactly what Juliette Binoche says to me in my recurring dream. Keep the doors open, my... Oh, your recur recurring dream that you hope you actually get a chance with a famous celebrity because you probably think that because you're probably that one guy that do you know those one guys who are always behind their computer jacking it slowly as they do something or just like behind the computer just like as you would expect some fat guy probably hasn't washed in like forever just eating junk food and only getting like pizza and shit and only has Mountain Dew to drink Ugh, don't do the thing because the someone is still in there, cliche. Thankfully for her in the audience, the radiation that is fast approaching her is doing so in a visible cloud-based form. Extra layer of door security, right? What the fuck, man? Again, we're not even... This might be... Well, this is already spoiling movies, but... We're not even... Out of the beginning of the movie. This is the beginning. And he's already got a 19 counter, which is still bullshit. It's super late so that Joe and Sandra can say goodbye. <laughs> Heroic teacher is the first one out when it comes to the classroom evacuation and leaves an army of abandoned children in her wake. Elizabeth Olsen isn't my army wife in this scene. Ringing phone prevents Elizabeth Olsen. Okay, this is where it actually kind of... We're still in the beginning, holy shit. This man should just jump off a building. Jump off the Eiffel Tower. Jump off the Empire State Building. Jump off of one of those places and make sure you stick the landing just right to where you're, we hear a splat and it's just your head splat on the ground and your body's just perfectly fine. Or just jump off a plane. And make sure you get impaled by one of the tower's tips. <clears throat> because you know, towers always have that sharp tip that you could easily get impaled if you fall from perfectly normal height. <clears throat> so from answering yes to the question, have you driven a Ford lately? And son, you can't the bury fuck? this in the past. Wait, what? We're already at fucking 20. Three. This man. Pissing me off. Not only is Ford completely reversing his position after a terrible speech and deciding to help his father, but dude, you are in the U.S. military and you're about to go break the law in Japan. Think about your career. Character pulls his mask off because air is more likely than not to be breathable, cliche. It's clean. I knew it. Why didn't you do the take off the mask experiment a few days ago when you were in the quarantine zone? Did they stop you before you could enter and arrest you? Because then how the f*** did you manage to get in with ease in broad daylight this time? Mothra reference serves to remind you that Mothra will be playing the aptly oh. named Sir Not Appearing in this film. Oh wait, yeah, it says Moth Mothra? I totally did not see that, but what does that deserve a sin? Floppy disks stacked in full view of surrounding destruction managed to survive extremely likely weather warping and other calamities for 15 years. Last time they just arrested him. This time, let's drive him further into the quarantine zone to headquarters and let him see everything going on. One of them says he used to work here, Doctor. Why didn't he say that the last time he was arrested? Or if he did, why didn't you care then? Well, you see, in 1999, there were floppy disks that stored data instead of the flash drives and shit we use now. You need an older computer with a floppy disk drive to read them. Of course, you likely lived in 1999, so you probably know that. That is not a transformer malfunction. That is an electromagnetic pulse. I know Joe has been obsessed with this for years, but hasn't Dr. Sarazawa also been studying this for at least 15 years and with way more information than Joe got to work with? How did he not figure that out? It's done. It's done. What the fuck? This man literally. What the actual fuck? How is this guy literally actually a fucking human? This guy's. This guy can't be a fucking human. 
He's too much of a dickbag to be. So, if he's not an actual human, does that mean I get to kill him? Though, technically, if you're technically speaking, if he's not a human, it's technically... Well, it's still probably illegal. But still, what the actual hell, man? This is literally... A lot of people love this movie. I love this movie. Hell, my parents love this movie. A lot of other people love this movie. And you're just being a faggot. A low-life piece of shit. Cum stain of the earth. Ah, I certainly hope so. We're talking 15 f***ing years here. We have to shut down. Eerie. It's almost like we've been through this before. It's almost like the first 30 minutes of this movie didn't really matter. We don't know what the hell could hatch out of this thing, so the brilliant solution... Uh, I swear. If there was ever a low-life cum stain on the face of Earth and YouTube, it would be this man. Literally, the most douchiest piece of shit ever. And I don't care what you guys say. Literally, you shouldn't defend this man. He's literally the worst person on this earth. The solution is a web of cables. Tangling. That's the solution. What could possibly go wrong? And what, no Jaegers? You had 15 years to build a Jaeger or plant a bomb under it. Instead, this team of scientists pissed the time away on Jaeger bombs. It takes 35 minutes for Godzilla to show up in a... Hey, that is not even Godzilla. He's still locked in the police van? They just abandoned prisoners in times of crisis? Man, I hope they do that thing where some monster-related action bullshit. Oh, what the fuck? This man is some fucking... Bum. Like, god damn. Do something else besides this. Go get a life, and I don't care what you say about this. And I n know who was probably who's probably going to say something about it. And... Don't even try. I'm not going to actually say your name. But if you're going to talk s and say calm down, disarmed access, it's disarmed access 330, I'm not going to listen to you. Because guess what? This man doesn't deserve any fucking mercy. I swear, I actually hope Ryuki the White Wolf makes a video for like a whole series hating on this man like what he did to Joseph Daniels somehow opens the doors to let him out without killing him <laughs> run Jesus in the name of a cool shot directors keep having the main character stand still in awe at the sight of things that would cause real people to be Fred Flintstoning the hell out of here Ford falls backwards back mm. into the police van which is probably a good idea since he's impossible to kill while inside it I'm not sure why he's putting on the mask but it sure is nice of the military police to have left it with him in the back of the van instead of confiscating it there he is he's a rock man I can't wait until the end of this movie and he's standing on top of one of these creatures heads and proclaiming victory this movie's gonna ride that Brian Cranston train the whole way I can feel it is he dead actually yes he is but the movie wants to wait to reveal that for some reason robbing us of any actual cool emotional death moment and instead replacing it with a zipping up the body bag shot as the reveal because I have no f***ing idea. CMP disruption to create havoc with our radar and satellite feeds and reduce us, for the moment, to a strictly visual pursuit. Well, isn't that convenient to the run? Okay, he's actually going through the whole beginning and such. What the hell is your problem, you actual fucktard? You actual fucking cum stain of the universe. Literally, this guy is the fucking retarded cum stain of the universe. Not even joking. YouTube, don't demonetize me for this. Because he doesn't deserve any sympathy. Even though you probably think, YouTube, Oh, this guy deserves sympathy. He's only doing this because he can. Well, fuck you, YouTube. You piece of shit. This man doesn't deserve any of it. In time of this movie. Okay, movie can handle another major character actor as long as Brian Cranston is still there at the end. <laughs> what a fucking tragic waste of Brian Cranston. An ancient alpha predator. Who only kills for sport. This historical footage contains more Godzilla than the actual movie. We call him. 
course you don't. Roll credits. We're monitoring all known sites, but if we don't find it- What the fuck? This guy is literally a piece of shit. Soon. Then what? I don't know, Forward, maybe if you let her finish, she'd tell you. This wife who was worried sick about her maybe dead husband would not put her damn phone on vibrate. F*** you, movie. And I'd probably let this LG product placement go without a sin if it wasn't for that stupid-ass curved phone. In case you confused it with Honolulu, Afghanistan. Unsupervised bastard plot kid plots to bastard this movie with his lack of supervision. Movie about big lizards, kid. What the fuck? This guy is literally a prick. This guy is literally the lowest that you can get. This guy is not even... No, I wouldn't classify this guy as a human. I'd classify this guy as a, ho as a hermit with no life. I don't know. This man should not even... This man should not even live. This man should not even cease to exist. This guy should just end his own career, if you know what I mean. Resist using a little lizard in an establishing shot cliche. No more secrets. Oh, See tech astronomy? It actually ends up taking 55 minutes, you. half the f***ing movie, before Godzilla himself even fuck shows up. You. And when he finally does, you'll swear for a moment you're actually watching the 1998 fuck Godzilla. You, Godzilla is blind enough to swim you, under the ship so that the main you, character doesn't you. die too soon. But f*** these other boats. Oh, fuck f*** it, let's you. throw a dog in peril in here suddenly and randomly. People love that. Godzilla will now be the hero of the story after drowning countless Hawaiians and destroying the city. Mudo waits until the lights come on to make any noises or take earth-shattering steps because this Muto has an excellent sense of dramatic timing. Muto decides not to use its EMP when threatened this time. I mean, why bother? Movie instantly makes itself unavailable for in-flight viewing with Nightmare Airport explosion sequence. Also, main character and current main antagonist Muto and Godzilla all end up at the Hawaii airport at the same damn time. Even though the Muto could fly and Ford took a ship and then a helicopter to get there. Domino explosions. Holy sh**. Even Liam Neeson just pissed himself. Remove two sins. Wait, did you just cut away from the action just as Godzilla showed up? The f***? Movie cheaps out and puts all the good Godzilla action into a fake TV news broadcast instead of showing it to us regular style. This is what happens when you hire a guy famous for making a movie called Monsters that basically doesn't have any monsters in it. Only people. Boy's been separated from his parents. This kid wanders Fucking... Jesus. This motherfucker is literally the worst person on fucking planet earth I didn't think there was anyone lower than Raven Queen but damn well here you guys go someone who's way lower than Raven Queen and deserves all the hate comments and I know in the beginning and way back then no one deserves nothing but a simple you suck but no this man doesn't deserve this guy deserves all the hate you could throttle at him. Way because Godzilla movie is more interested in generic civilian drama than actual Godzilla stuff. Also, movie suddenly turns into Minority Report. That's the weird twist they put in this Godzilla movie. So ended the saga of the bullshit kid no one ultimately cared about anyway. But thanks for adding seven minutes of runtime, you little fucker. Plot the speed and heading of these things. Isn't that what you were just talking about? Simulations uploaded. I literally hate this bum-ass motherfucker. Uh, how much do you want to bet he jacks off to all the comments people put on any of his videos? He's just like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm going this. Like, literally, I swear, that would be him in a literal fucking nutshell. This guy is literally... Does this guy even know what the word sin means? Probably not. Satellite tracking continues. Was this line supposed to go before that sh How the f*** would on-foot soldiers discover this destroyed vault at the exact time as the helicopter is circling the mountain? I'll tell you how. Because the director had an idea for a cool shot. Okay, so this asshole needs nuclear fuel to survive and now needs to mate with the other Muto. So, why Vegas? Why the hell does this creature need to destroy Vegas now? There's nothing for it here and it could just go around, right? Is there an inherent need for the Muto to just destroy cities for no reason? The Muto has been around long enough to get on the local news, but word somehow didn't travel. What the fuck, you motherfucker? I hope you get. I hope you actually die the worst way ever. And no one try to defend him. No, he doesn't even deserve a single defense from anyone. 
That includes you, Disarmed Axis 330. I know you're the one that's usually trying to cool me down. No, this man doesn't deserve any sympathy, any mercy. Just straight up, I hope he dies. Well, this casino via Twitter, cell phone calls, police warnings, screaming assholes from the street, or anything that would normally happen in a situation like this. That's what you get for gambling, you bunch of degenerates. Believe it or not, on the whole, Vegas... Act Excuse you? I think the only degenerate... G degenerate here is you, you fucking low piece of fucking shit. Literally, you should just live in a... You live in a fucking shithole of hell. We still made money on this day. Also, once again, movie delights in showing us the destruction, but almost none of the action that created it. Why does he swim so slowly that slow-ass aircraft carriers can keep up with him? Is Godzilla a slacker? Current tracking models indicate that all three targets are... Con are you a piece of shit? Yes, you are. Do you deserve any mercy? No, so there's your answer. Fuck off now, cunt. I'm so sorry that I had to drop the C word. I realized that mistake as immediately when it came out of my mouth. I am sorry. I just feel so fucking bad that I dropped that C word. I am... Literally, two, three words that I don't like to say retarded the the c word which i accidentally dropped and the n word which i haven't dropped yet and i hope not to i'm so sorry that i said the c word oh my god i actually feel like an asshole and I feel like a piece of shit now. Oh my gosh. Virgin here, San Francisco Bay. Finally, someone's gonna take care of the homeless problem in San Francisco. Also, the mutos want to bang and they need nuclear energy to make a child. What the f*** is in San Francisco Bay that makes this possible? Or is it just the most romantic place to do this? Yes, doctor. Because you know, maybe the answer, I believe. He's here to restore balance. Dude, you didn't even know about electromagnetic pulses before Brian Cranston came on the scene. Now you know with certainty what Godzilla's motives are? August 6th. 1945. Hiroshima. Hiroshima shaming. Hiroshima. It was my father's. That means you were born by August 6, 1945 then, right? Because your dad can't have died before he provided the sperm portion of you. So that makes you, in this modern set movie, a minimum of 69 years old, which is bullshit. The other possibility is that the biggest tragedy that happened to his father was that his watch stopped. This train and these weapons are headed to San Francisco! Shouting military guy is a wealth of information for the movie's primary, I guess, hero. He's in the movie a lot, I suppose. Also, what amazing timing that was to get there just as the train stopped and then be able to get on that train back to San Francisco. All action movies must have a pretty girl, regardless of story importance. End of discussion. It's 2014. This TV and these VHS tapes are a sin. I completely agree, sir. Unnecessary ag Your whole life and whatever and what you do is a sin, motherfucker. And don't even Yeah, and also don't even give this man slacker credit. This guy's literally full on trash. Agreement confirmation of mandatory orders. I need to know the exact location of the MUTOs ASAP. How do you not know this information already? This fing thing is filled with radioactive waste, and you have satellites and radar and all sorts of shit. And it's huge. We tried that before. Megatons, not kilotons. Nothing can withstand that blast. I really don't doubt the U.S. military would still think modern bombs would kill these things, but aren't you a little wary that the bomb back then didn't even put a scratch on Godzilla? What the hell is this asshole doing? This is the problem with the needs nuclear waste to survive trait. She has no reason to stalk prey or hide or be a horror movie villain. She should just constantly be moving and looking for that sweet ass. Yeah, like you give a f about a train horn. Is it wrong that this makes me horny? We interrupt this Godzilla movie to bring you Stand By Me. You know, this whole idea about luring the muto to the water by putting the nuclear weapons in the ocean definitely had one flaw. If the weapons are so irresistible, then obviously the muto would be able to detect and derail the train carrying the weapons before we got to San Francisco. I don't know why they didn't just fly there and get them there faster. Here's your second look at Godzilla in this movie. Yep, he's still useless. It's gonna outrun us, sir. Godzilla lets the military tail him for half the Pacific. Literally, you're useless, you motherfucker. I hope you choke on dick. On tons of dicks. 
Goshen before finally burning rubber. Unkillable character is unkillable. You gotta love that the Muto left one nuke relatively unharmed despite eating the entire train the nukes were on. Movie that went out of its way to have the protagonist have to protect a dumb kid puts the protagonist's own dumb kid on a bus so we don't have to worry about him the rest of the film. There's still buses on. My fucking god, I hope you actually fucking die. I don't care what it is. I hope it's slow and painful. And I hope it's like and I hope it breaks the Constitution. And whatever amend amendment the cruel and unusual punishment is behind. I hope it's an actual cruel and unusual punishment. I actually hope you get freaking bloody eagled. Even though you don't deserve that. And if you don't know what that is. It's simple. It's, it's basically what Vikings did. Or we should just keep you... At a beach with a like leather tunic, and let the when the shore let the shore rise to where the tunic is, so that was it keeps on squeezing you until you die. Like literally, I hope that's your death. Bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge is in some sort of danger. Cliche. San Francisco still hasn't survived the birdemic. Honestly, I've seen this f***ing bridge destroyed in so many movies, I'd be surprised to go to San Francisco in real life and find it actually intact. Lieutenant Brody is the only e What the fuck? This motherfucker... Drowned. I hope you die. Cinema Sins, I hope you die. I just hope you fucking die. No. No, no. Well, the tech to survive the train attack. Irony. The arrogance of man is thinking nature is in our control. Okay, fine. If you want to preach about this and be the moral center of the movie, that, that's fine. Just know that you're the dumbass who spent 15 years studying this creature and thought a bunch of cables were going to contain the thing when it hatched, had no weapons ready to kill it, and basically f***ed the Bay Area in ways the Oakland Raiders haven't even dreamed of yet. Oh, look, the pretty girls in Arbit- Hey, look. You should actually stop. Grab a gun. Load it. Cock it and put it in your mouth or put it to your heart and say fuck it all and pull the trigger. Trey Peril, I am 100% the opposite of surprised. Did you just cut away from the action just as it was getting going again? God damn, you are the spitting image of my college ex. I tell you what, you you're the spitting image of. I don't even think you went to college, you motherfucker. I think you dropped out, out your freshman year of freaking high school, you piece of shit. Is it commonly associated with 2001 is a bold choice, and the following skydiving scene is worth knocking a sin off for. The snipers on the rooftop are moving into position. But why? Are bullets suddenly effective? Was there not even one moment in the writing of this movie where someone stopped and said, Hey, are we having the main character and the monsters conveniently show up in the same locations too many times? <laughs> yeah, I better cut over to the boring humans and see what they're up to. I sure didn't want to see the big monsters fighting after 98 fightless minutes of movie had passed. Which one of these assholes was carrying a f***ing ladder? We're 27 mics! How has only an hour passed since they started the countdown on the bomb? Lots has happened since then. We saw Elizabeth Olsen stay hot during the preamble to the creature fight. We saw the Mutos making babies. Blush. Ford asked about his wife and kid, and FEMA was an asshole like always. They planned the skydiving attempt. The moral center of the movie preached to us the same thing we learned from Jurassic Park from Jeff Goldblum. And then Elizabeth Olsen stayed hot just before the creatures fought each other. And then the skydiving happened, and then more fighting happened that we didn't get to see because the movie's editor hates us. If that's an hour, then Cinema Sins aren't assholes. Hey, why didn't Godzilla you- Uh, Cinema Sins is an asshole. You should die. Um, and yeah, you are the basic definition of a prick. Was this earlier? Just like Pacific Rim's magic sword. Seems like it could have been useful before now. I'm wondering if these army guys are serious with oh, these- what the fuck? Just for his radioactive breath, you lowlife bum? Go get an actual fucking job. And no one tell me to calm down. This man deserves no mercy. Whatsoever. No, no, he shouldn't deserve anything. Guns, or is this just something planted in the movie to make it appear action-y? They f***ing stole this boat. This is just some boat on the harbor that they could carry the bomb to. Nobody programmed s*** into this thing's autopilot. Yeah, no, this is the same issue with yeah, Jurassic yeah. Park's T-Rex and Cloverfield's Cloverfield. You can't just have Godzilla show up silently like he's a ninja or some s***. Also, good God, Godzilla is awesome. I hope future movies include him the next time, rather than giving us what amounts to five minutes of...
The Godzilla show up silently like he's a ninja or some shit. Also, good God, Godzilla is awesome. I hope future movies include him the next time, rather than giving us what amounts to five minutes of screen time. Godzilla and the protagonist both pass out at the same time. I mean, there are script parallels, and then there's this f***ing movie. Jesus, are they soulmates? Are they cosmically linked somehow? How did anyone know he was on the boat? He did that with no one around, and is the military really going to investigate a tour boat drifting into the water with all the other stuff they have to do? Wait, did Godzilla wake up, kill the Muto, then go back to the exact same place where he collapsed earlier? Well, on the bright side, San Francisco won't have to rebuild again until Star Trek Into Darkness happens. Movie expects me to get some kind of love boner over the reunion of two characters who had exactly four minutes of screen time together. Um, sort of? Not really. How come Godzilla's appearance out of the water in Hawaii caused a tsunami, but his entering into the water in San Francisco, eh, just a little bit of boat wake? What's up with that? If you don't know what that sound was, that was the sound of my fist punching the part of my bed. I am trying to hold back. I'm trying to hold back all the welded up anger in me. But it's not seeming to fucking work because I'm so fucking pissed at this motherfucker. I hope whatever happens to him happens slow and painful, and I hope he dies. Whatever it takes. I hope it's very fucking painful. You know what? I hope I fucking watch. I hope I fucking watch that you die. I want to see it. And I want to say last words. I hope you burn in hell, bitch. You deserve every di living. You deserved everything that happens to you. Every last worst fucking thing. And then not even give him a proper burial. Just, just not even give him a bur burial. Just throw his body out to us out to the sea, and let the fish eat him, or the sharks. I don't give a shit. He doesn't deserve a proper burial. He deserves shit. He shouldn't even deserve the right to live. This motherfucker's given sins for basically no fucking reason. This motherfucker deserves every single painful thing on this earth to happen to a man. I swear... If there was one low-life bum-ass piece of shit that I wanted dead, it's this man. Anyways, this is the end of the fucking video. Hope you guys have a better than day and not be as angry as I am. Because I, as you can tell, I'm fucking ten times what I usually be in a normal video. I'm losing my freaking voice. I think my voice has gone to the limit where it's just dying. My voice has changed to, like, dying voice. Anyways, hope you guys have a better day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.